Every day, hundreds of sick babies arrive at the Christian Medical College Velour at this very fragile time in their lives. But prevention is always better than cure. For CMC, research into the causes and treatment of disease has always been a priority and stands as one of the strengths that allows the hospital to serve, grow and influence. CMC's research is of a different nature. We have a full spread of research activities that goes from field trials to basic science research to translational research and pure science research. And that is even more important to keep us relevant in innovation, in new creativity, in uh, finding new directions of treatment because CMC believes that all research must be patient-driven, patient-focused. In a suburb of Velour, a CMC research team has taken this ethos to heart. Its success is about to change the health journey of infants India-wide. I'm Cherry Kang. I'm professor and head of the Division of Gastrointestinal Sciences. 10% of Indian children who die before the age of five die of a diarrheal disease. The commonest cause of severe diarrhea in India is a virus called rotavirus. And this virus causes between 40 and 60% of all of the severe gastroenteritis that's seen in India. We met Rohit when he was about three or four weeks of age. And since then, he must have had about eight admissions into hospital. At least one of his episodes was rotavirus. They can die very easily, actually. They come in reasonably early, but we still get children who are extremely dehydrated. If they don't reach healthcare on time, they can very easily succumb to the illness. We know that rotavirus is different in that it causes a much greater proportion of the really severe, the bad disease. And because of the vomiting, oral rehydration doesn't work very well. So we have been working on looking for ways to prevent this disease. Because in a lot of situations, you get kids who can't reach a hospital when they get sick. So it's better to prevent a disease if you can, rather than treat it. Realizing that success for her team would require a large pool of research subjects, Dr. Cherry decided that a give-and-take approach would create a relationship with the community where they could sample and test while still maintaining scientific control. And at the same time, her team of skilled clinicians could give back by creating a no-cost clinic for young children located right in the heart of the neighborhood. The result is two clinics side by side, one for research the other providing free medical care to over a hundred infants every day. This is the Chinnalapuram Clinic. It's a clinic that we run as a service to the community. And what we do here is offer free medical services to children under five who can come in here Monday to Friday and be seen by a senior pediatrician. There is a research clinic next door and if we are doing observational studies or recruiting into a clinical trial, we will send children there. They may go there directly from the community. This one is a service clinic. Well, I wouldn't think it was very responsible of us to do research in a community where we did not offer services. So the purpose of this clinic is to be here and generally to improve medical care for the community. This is our research clinic and this is where we do both observational studies and clinical trials. This is a two-way street. We test interventions in the community, evaluate how well they have performed in the lab that allows us to bring it back as larger scale interventions in the community. We also do observational studies in the community that then allow us to design better laboratory assays that we can use for future studies. So the mingling of the community and the laboratory is what I think makes us unique. Back in their laboratories at the main hospital, Dr. Cherry's team used samples from their clinic to participate in a national research program to develop an effective and affordable vaccine against rotavirus. 
what the vaccine does. It's an oral vaccine, so it's given like the oral polio vaccine in the form of drops, no injections for children. You give three doses of the vaccine and what it does is reduce the chances that a child will develop severe rotavirus diarrhea. So essentially for families, what that means is that your child is less likely to get sick with this particular very common bug. And if they get sick, they'll develop only mild disease. The problem with developing vaccines in the Western world has always been that the vaccines that are made for markets are made for rich kids and cost a lot of money. What we wanted to do is develop a vaccine that could be affordable for the entire country and the poorest of poor people. So we chose to work with an Indian vaccine manufacturer and with the government of India with a target of producing a vaccine that could be used for public immunization. We were very fortunate that this has been taken through by the Ministry of Health and in July 2014, the Prime Minister announced that this will be one of the four new vaccines that will be available for the Indian immunization programs. So the potential for this vaccine is that we should be able to save 30,000 lives a year, but more than just saving lives, we think we should be able to prevent a quarter of a million hospitalizations due to rotavirus diarrhea every year and about one and a half million outpatient visits. So if you think about pain, suffering, economic loss, whichever way you look at it, this vaccine will help. Using their pool of research subjects, Dr. Cherry's team has proven that their inoculation effectively prevents severe rotavirus disease. But more than this, their comprehensive studies have examined and highlighted the burden of the disease on a local and national scale and the devastating impact it can have on household income. It feels absolutely wonderful that we took something that is an Indian problem had Indian scientists investigate it and had an Indian company develop a product that will be used for all Indian children and maybe kids in other poorer parts of the world as well.